Howdy guys, let's have a look at Nopix, one of the OG Linux live CDs. Righto. So we are trying a Nopix version from 2003, which is the first version I had access to. This boot up screen brings back memories. I wish distros would use Tux as a graphic more often. It's such a classic. And it looks like without too much trouble, we are now in the live CD. Whatever happened to conquer a web browser? This was KDE's default browser back in the day. Let's see, this should be KDE version three or so. Yes, a bit of time has passed, guys. Now, one thing you notice is dragging the windows around doesn't actually show its contents. This was because computers had pretty bad graphics processing back in the old days. Even these text on the desktop icons are not transparent. You, you can't see the wallpaper between the characters. And that was because of the same reason. I remember Windows XP having transparent icon labels and doing away with these text background, and it just blew my mind. So Conqueror was actually a file browser and web browser combo. There was no Dolphin back then, this probably looks very different to what you're used to with modern KDE. Let's see what else we have. OpenOffice, and of course Mozilla back in the day before Firefox, or it was probably barely in version one. So yes, Mozilla was what most distros came with. Okay, check this out. You know, you've stepped into a time capsule when the wallpapers are like this. You've got these images which are meant to be tiled on the desktop. Full screen high res images were a bit of a luxury in 2003. And you know what else is so 2003? Applications. Back then, distros didn't like to pick and choose specific applications, so they just gave you all of them. I mean, like multiple to get the same thing done. I mean, these editors, you've got Emacs, KWrite, KEdit, Kate, and multiple versions of Vim too. It's amazing how much stuff the Nopix team managed to fit on one live CD. Okay, so apart from fitting all this great stuff into one CD, Nopix also had fantastic hardware support. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but a big step up from everything else at the time. They even had support for installing the Flash plugin. Anyway, let's see what other apps we have. These are probably version ones of a lot of these. We even have Audacity here. And this other weird little video player called Videoland Client. Yes, guys, this is the OG version of VLC Media Player before it was even called VLC. The Audacity UI looks strangely similar to what it was just a few years ago. I mean, less buttons, but the same style as such. You can't improve on perfection, I guess. Okay guys, Nopix is, in my opinion, one of the most important Linux distros. It just lowered the barrier to installation so much. Live CDs are now easily the best way to try before you buy Linux. I mean, sure, Windows and Mac have recovery versions, but to be able to try out your entire operating system, including a truckload of applications. Wow, take a bow, Nopix. And so let's end this video with another OG, the GIMP version 1.2. If you think GIMP is hard to use now, you should check it out back when it was all floating windows. Anyway guys, hope that was fun. What was your favorite old distro? Did you try Nopix in the 2000s? Let me know in the comments and of course like and subscribe. Until next time.